share some Christmas joy with you. The students have worked extremely hard in this program. I'm very proud of them. And I'd also love to introduce uh, the student teacher that we've had the great honor of working with over the last quarter, Mrs. Klingmeyer. my privilege to work with your children. They are so wonderful and they have blessed my heart and changed my life. And um, I better look at my notes. <laughs> I cannot express how proud I am of them, of all of you and all of you. <laughs> Nor how blessed I feel to be a small part of their learning experience. As we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Jesus, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we need to remember that God came to earth in the form of a helpless babe. Learn to walk and speak like all of us do. He fell down and scraped his knee and was nurtured and taught and loved by adults like you. As the book of Hebrews tells us, he was like us in all ways and understands our weaknesses. As a teacher, I am poignantly aware of this truth because your children remind me every day that in God's eyes, we are all children, His children. This is the true joy of the Christmas season and what we celebrate today and every day. Please enjoy this production of A Christmas Carol, Scrooge in Beth Bethlehem. It is our gift to you.
Our sixth graders have worked especially hard on this performance. You will you'll notice their acting, their skills are really well practiced, well rehearsed, and we're extremely proud of them.
On that first Christmas night, Scrooge sat alone in the Bethlehem Inn without a friend in the world. He loved no one. He worshipped only his money. The rich innkeeper Scrooge was a poor lost soul, sitting alone in his dark room.
As Tiny Tim slept in the warmth of his mother's arms, Scrooge slept in the bitter cold of the Bethlehem Inn. Wrapped in his face was a sterling silver coin. As the clock chimed one o'clock, an angel appeared, filling the room with light.
Wake up, Ebenezer. Gaze with me into the present. Leave me alone. I'm having a dickens of a time trying to sleep tonight. A child has been born right here in Bethlehem. He is the savior of the world. The savior of the world is a baby? Bah, humbug. Ebenezer, go to your stable. There you will find the child lying in a manger. The Cratchit's already there. Hurry, Ebenezer. Angel, don't leave me. What did you say? The savior of the world is in my stable? Bah, humbug. After the angel left, Scrooge tried to sleep again in his dark room. He tossed and turned with his silver coin wrapped tightly in his fist.
him meant to give his most precious possession, his crutch, to Jesus. Placing it carefully beside the manger, he slowly stood. As he stood, his parents cried with joy, because Tiny Tim stood straight, cured of his crippling disease.
nominated, this is probably my most favorite night of the entire year because this is really how the Christmas spirit comes alive in all of us. We want to thank our wonderful students for the job they did tonight. Intermediate school, who made, he's the band director there that helped direct our wonderful band. We also really need to give a big round of applause to the most fabulous music teacher in the entire world, Lori Meinhardt. We want to leave with you tonight. Um, the students will stay up here until you come and claim them, and you can take them home with you tonight, really. <laughs> students.